Have you ever wanted to know what the absolute worst brand of Airsoft BBs looks like? Have you ever wondered what sort of literal biodegradable trash you could purchase and have delivered to your door straight off Amazon? Look no further. Before we begin here, look, I had a terrible experience with these BBs and straight up, please don't buy these BBs, please save your money, save yourself the trouble, I beg you. And you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if someone in the comments tells me they love these BBs and that maybe I got a bad batch or something. No. No, I didn't. This is tactical. Or tactical. I don't know. It's spelt with K's instead of C's. I'm just going to call it tactical. This is a French Canadian airsoft retailer who have their own. French Canadian brand of BBs, I guess. Now, I've just recently made a switch to 0.32 gram BBs, but initially, I tried these guys out for some 0.4 gram action. You can find all sorts of weights straight off Amazon.ca, and you know what? It's prime too. I got my BBs literally the next day, and that was great. You know what's not great? It's that these BBs don't work and they are disgusting, actually disgusting. I was in a pinch, you know? I couldn't get BBs anywhere else in a quick amount of time, I was running low, it seemed like a decent deal for a bulk amount of heavyweight ammo, but I was wrong. Let's go ahead and read the side of the bottle, shall we? Highly polished, seamless, uniform, solid core, white. Aside from solid core, none of these other things are true. What Tactical Airsoft claims these BBs to be is a lie. Oh, sorry, en mensonge. Now, you're probably wondering, well hey, if they're so bad, why did you use three quarters of a bottle? I used almost an entire bottle because it wasn't until my third weekend in using these BBs did I notice the buildup of chalky gunk inside my magazines, causing them all to jam at the same time. Even after cleaning all my magazines at the field instead of playing, obviously, the BBs still jammed because they were clearly already eroding themselves away some way, somehow. And for the record, the springs inside these mags aren't the stock springs. I've got much stronger springs in them and I've held 0.45 gram BBs no problem with these mags. It's not the mags. Yet, I've got a bag of BBs here for my pistol which have lasted me two years. Opened, exposed to hot and cold weather. Riddle me that tactical. Let's go ahead and work our way down this shit list, shall we? These BBs are far from polished. In fact, they aren't polished. It looks like they grabbed 3,000 BBs from under the couch and threw them into a bottle. You know the ones I'm talking about. You know those nights you're fiddling around with your airsoft gun on the couch, maybe attaching some optic, and a BB rolls out of your hop-up and just rolls under the couch, or gets stuck between the cushions, right next to half a sour cream and onion potato chip that's half a year old. Yeah, that's how polished these BBs look. Seamless. Oh. Okay. Sure. Seam. 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 I can keep going if you'd like me to. And don't even get me started about how uniform these BBs are. These BBs are uniformly made like garbage. I've tried my best here with the lighting to show the crazy amount of imperfections on these BBs. Every single one of these BBs are covered in dimples, craters, bumps, micro protrusions, micro protru micro protru micro protrusions, protrusions, micro protrusions, you name it. You want to ruin your inner barrel over time? Yeah, use these BBs. 
What an absolute disgrace for the price. And how dare you claim these BBs to be white? I mean, yeah, they're off-white, I guess, but just take a look at this French-Canadian BB next to a generic cheap brand of BB. You tell me which one looks like better quality based off the color alone. And you know what else? That's not even the worst part. Take a look at the bottle itself. I have never seen a bottle of BBs look this cloudy. The BBs inside this bottle are so chalky that it just stained the entire bottle with this permanent layer of dust. At first I thought maybe this was just some sort of recycled cheap plastic, but no, it's just dust. Now you tell me you want this rubbing off inside of your mags, through your hop up, or inside your barrel. Yeah, I didn't think so. What the actual f This is what a bottle of BBs should look like. Packaging is everything. Look, these BBs aren't made in Canada, that's obvious. And that really shouldn't even make a difference. The problem is, as a Canadian airsofter, with the choice of trying different brands of BBs, finding a Canadian retailer that has their own labeled flavor, I guess, this is just really, really embarrassing. Is it just the heavy stuff that they make? Is it Amazon keeping them cooped up in a warehouse for too long before I decided to buy them? And don't tell me I should have just washed them the night before. I shouldn't have to. It'll wreck the ones I don't end up using and I just shouldn't have to be that anal about my BBs. I also have to be very careful using those words in the same sentence. I don't think I really care to be honest, because if Tactical truly cared, they wouldn't partner up with Amazon in the first place and keep some garbage stash of old BBs inside that warehouse. But no, they'd rather make a quick buck off my stupid ass who was just happy to have them arrive to my door the next day before Airsoft on the weekend. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, Tactical has their own physical store somewhere in En Francais, Canada, as well as an online store, and I'm sure they're nice French-Canadian people looking to make a living. But hey, if they love Airsoft as much as the rest of us, figure shit out guys. Tactical, figure it out. I'm a customer, I bought your BBs through Amazon, which you obviously are okay with, and they are the worst representation of whatever a proudly Canadian BB would look like. Oh, and did I mention there are a few reviews here and there on Amazon sharing the same experience as me? Yeah, great quality control, guys. I do not trust this brand, and I'll obviously be returning this fresh bottle for a refund. This is straight up embarrassing for a retailer looking to label their name onto some BBs. Don't buy these BBs. Don't buy these BBs. Don't buy these BBs. Do me a favor and just spread this video and its information around. Especially if you or somebody you know is a Canadian airsofter looking to stock up on BBs. Especially if they're looking around on Amazon. It's important to know which brands we can trust, and the last thing I want to see is somebody waste their money and have to sit out an entire weekend of Airsoft. Kinda like how I had to. Anyway, that's all I wanted to get off my chest. I'm really disappointed, guys. I thought maybe I had struck a decent deal here and found something really awesome on Amazon and maybe had found a really good brand, but this is just one of those little learning moments, I guess. As always, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time.